I'm going to go through the chapter tests for the Algebra 1 teaching textbook. I'll do some of the problems I think students might need explanations for. If you want a specific problem that I did not cover, let me know. I'm going to start with problem number 16, x plus 5 equals 24. I'm going to start by I'm going to minus 5 from each side, which is going to give you x equals 24 minus 5. 24 minus 5 is 19. x equals 19. Problem 17, y minus 7 over 8 equals 3 over 4. Since you have minus 7 eighths, you're going to need to add 7 eighths to each side to cancel that out. So you'll end up with y equals 3 fourths plus 7 eighths. You're going to need a common denominator because you're adding two fractions together. The common denominator is going to be 8 because 4 can go into 8. Since 4 times 2 is 8, you'll multiply 2 over 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So you'll end up with 6 eighths plus 7 over 8. 6 plus 7 is 13 y equals 13 over 8. Problem number 18, 68z equals 306. This is very easy. You're just going to divide each side by 68. And 306 divided by 68 will give you 4.5. So z equals 4.5. Next problem x over 11.2 equals 17. There are two ways you can go about solving this. I'm going to show you each way. The first one is you'll take 11 over 2 and multiply that by each side because you want these to cancel out giving you x equals 17 times 11.2 190.4 the second way to go about solving this would be to cross multiply. So you have x over 11.2 equals 17. We'll just say that's 17 over 1. Cross multiply, you'll get x equals 17 times 11.2. x equals 190.4. Problem 20, 2.1 plus x equals 4.5 minus 2.1 from each side, giving you x equals 4.5 minus 2.1 is going to give you 2.4. Problem 21, 1 over 7 times x equals 41. We're going to want to isolate x by multiplying 7 over 1 to each side so that your 7s will cancel out, giving you x equals 41 times 7. 41 times 7 is going to be 287. Problem 22, x over 3 over 5 equals 10 over 9. Now a lot of people are going to see the fraction down here and freak out, but it's not that hard. I'm just going to cross multiply everything. That would give you 9x equals 10 times 3 fifths. You have 9x equals 30 over 5. 30 over 5 is going to equal 6. So you'll have 9x equals 6. Divide by 9. x will equal 6 over 9. We can reduce the 6 over 9 because you know 3 will go into both of these. 6 divided by 3, which is 2. 9 divided by 3, which is 3. 1 half x equals 2 over 15. I'm going to multiply 2 by each side, which cancels that out, giving me x equals 2 fifteenths times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 15 times 1 is 15. x equals 4 over 15. Problem 24, 3 over 7 plus y equals 9 over 14 minus 3 over 7 from each side. That would give us y on its own. So y equals 9 over 14 
minus 3 over 7. Since we're dealing with subtracting fractions, we're going to need a common denominator, which 7 will go into 14, because 7 times 2 is 14. We'll multiply the 3 sevenths by 2 over 2, which will give us y equals 9 14 minus 3 times 2, which is 6, 7 times 2, which is 14. Now we've got our common denominator, so we just take 9 minus 6, which is 3. y equals 3 over 14. We can't reduce that anymore because 3 is not a multiple of 14, so that's our final answer. Next, we have a story problem. The Henderson family took a trip from Atlanta to Dallas, which are 782 miles apart. If they drove an average speed of 68 miles per hour, how many hours did the trip take? The distance in miles is 782. Their speed is 68 miles per hour. We want to know how long is the trip going to take. Say 68 miles per hour. So x hours to equal 782 miles. Here hours will cancel out leaving you with the miles. 68 times x equals 700 82. Divide each side by 68. x equals 782 divided by 68, which is 11.5 hours.